How's it going, ladies and gents? I'm back with another video uh, review of a uh, software. This one is called Polar. It is a photo editing software on Chrome. And I'm just going to show you a couple of the features of it and how powerful it is. I actually think it's you know pretty pretty close to like what you'd see in Lightroom or something like that. So we'll start here. They have a sample photo you can kind of play with, open adjustments, mess with all this stuff here, change colors, let's see, play with the temperature, tint, vibrance, saturation, light, gives you some of the dehaze, exposures, woo. And uh, it's all this stuff, uh, detail. So for this one right here with the denoise, I had to pay for the full license for this, which is only $20. Definitely worth it, if you ask me. It's, it's pretty good. Uh, so a lot cheaper than what you'd pay for a lot of other softwares that also do just as well. So as you can see down here, I click this button. It takes it back to the original photo. You can see the difference. There's also a cool little feature here where they kind of help you learn how to um, do these adjustments to your photos the right way. So you can see here, this is the before photo. This is the after photo. And what this does is this is going to teach you how to take it from this to this. So we'll hit begin. It pops up these little dialog boxes telling you what to click and where to take it. So take D haze up to 85. These go in 25, like... I guess 25% hash mark, so 85 will put us about right there. Increase your exposure up to 30. A little high. All right, contrast up to 60. All right, now we're going to start with the clarity up to 40. About right there. And there you have it. So as you can see, here's the after photo. Here's the before photo. We can even kind of come up here, maybe denoise the luminance a little bit. So that's just one example. Uh, you can also get the white balance. Here would be your before and after. Kind of brighten it up. Instead of the egg, the eggish white, you have a more of a pure white uh, distortion. So you know, it has the the options where you can change the photos kind of layout and I'll show you a picture I did that on myself and this last one that I really like which is the main reason I bought this was for a photo I had that was very dark like this one and then I wanted to make it a lot brighter kind of pull out some of that detail so this one just had exposure up to 100 clarity up to 100 vignette we take it down and then we feather it back out Oop, right there and increase those highlights a little bit. And then here you change the color, the attribute of it, I guess. So you kind of make it a little a little bit lighter on that blue, just kind of help bring it out some more. And then that's your last step. And as you can tell with this one, that it did a pretty good job. So as you can see, that's the original. That's afterwards. So a couple photos that I've used this on be right here we'll start with this one took this one with my phone not a super great photo but it kind of helped bring out the color i think i denoised it a little bit just to help with the smoothness of the color as well this is the another one i took with my phone as you can see i used a little bit of the distortion on it so it kind of makes the tracks look a little more straight and right in front of you versus kind of being off to the side Couple others I've done. This one just brought out brought out that foreground a little bit more. And then on this one, just made it a little more blue. Uh, so yeah, like I said, it's very powerful. It's very good. So when you want to save your photo, you can either save a copy, which would just be the original file format that you have it in. Uh, you can also do this, which gives you the option to save it as JPEG, PNG, or RAW. Um, see you can rename the image 
you change the size. If you want the size to be in pixels, centimeters, inches, you can change the quality, low, medium, high, or best. Obviously, you go best, it's going to make the file its biggest size. And the last cool thing about this, I thought, was that you have the option of adding a watermark. So you can edit your watermark. So you can come here, choose an image. So I could choose, let's see, let's go with this. Oh, let's do this one. And you can change how opaque it is. You can change the size. So for some reason, you go, you try to save it, I think above 80 or like I tried to go really big with some with my original watermark that you saw when I first opened it up. And for some reason it would um, kind of mess with the software and it wouldn't allow me to add watermarks after that. So just make sure if you're going to do this, leave your try to leave your size about 75. I noticed that it's big enough. I usually have about probably 20, 15 to 20. For my opaqueness. I guess would be the correct word. And if you have a Chromebook, I definitely suggest you get this. I'll leave a link to their Chrome Web Store app in the description below. And if you could like, share, and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate that. All right. Thanks, guys.